I decided to attend WVU because my advisor, he was really open and friendly, and I was like, well, this definitely seems like a department that I could be really interested um, in working in and spending years of my life. So then I actually attended a graduate recruitment weekend here in Morgantown, and I just remember walking through the streets of downtown High Street and just interacting with the biology department students and just being like, this is a place that I really, I could live, not just work. So I originally went here for undergraduate and I had a wonderful experience, especially when it came to developing relationships with the professors. I had performed research for four years with Dr. Nick Wu of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Because I had such a great time in his laboratory and he had helped me so much, I was really inspired to stay on and then do graduate school here. I mean, I had a great time as undergraduate. I knew it would extend into graduate school. The faculty here are also very supportive um, and will talk to you about school-related or not school-related things. So it's not exclusively um, an academic type of relationship. We also have personal relationships with the faculty that are important to us. In graduate training right now, there's a tremendous focus on, on having a balanced life, just the same way that, that this is really being emphasized for faculty members. The university doesn't want to see faculty members burn out. We don't want to see graduate students burn out. I think that it's important that people who come here understand what Morgantown is like. It's in this really great location for a lot of different opportunities. If you want to be in the middle of nowhere and rock climb, which I've done before, I've had that opportunity several times. If you want to like go and be in a big city, you've got numerous options and you can get there in no time at all. So Morgantown is a great small town. There's tons of fun stuff to do. You can go to small shows, big concerts, theaters, and lectures. One of my favorites is going to the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra when they come to the Cultural Arts Center. Cooper's Rock is so convenient and it's a gorgeous place. It's nice to just go on nature walks or go for a run there. But of course there's also recreational things that are available if you're willing to drive a short distance. I mean, Pittsburgh is right there and my husband and I love going to hockey games together. I love taking walks, walking to work every day, walking on the rail trail. I mean, that's just a great way to just kind of relax at the end of the day and decompress a little bit and see some pretty sights. Well, my first impression of Morgantown was just, wow, this is, this is a really cute town. The community has a really healthy and robust relationship with campus. They very much flow into one another. But the bus routes make the housing options a lot more diverse. You're not restricted to places that you can only walk to or only PRT back and forth from. Life is short, so being happy where you are is extremely important. So I always try to find ways to, you know, like the place that I live, especially in a situation like grad school, which is a lot of work. It can be extremely difficult. And so you need to have something at the end of the day that really makes you happy.